Alright, so this is a tutorial of how to set up Twitch notifications with your Discord bot in Discord.py. So keep in mind this does not work with the Twitch API, this is solely through Discord.py. And keep in mind that your users that you want to have a Twitch notification sent for, they have to have their Twitch connected to their Discord account and it has to look like this when they're live. So it has to say live on Twitch. If it looks anything like this, it's not going to work. And uh, they have to have streamer mode enabled, so don't forget that. Alright, so we're just going to import what we need. So import Discord, from Discord import intents, from Discord import streaming, from Discord.utils import get, from Discord.ext import commands. Now you're not doing any commands with this, but um, we're using bot, so you have to do that anyway. If you're using client, uh, you don't need that. Alright, so you're going to set up your intents, so intents equals intents.all, and you're going to set up your bot, so bot equals commands.bot, command prefix, I set mine to dollar sign, you can do it as whatever, but you're not, again, you're not using commands in this example. If you do add commands to your bot, you will need this, and then equal, intents equals intents. Alright, so we're going to do add bot.event, <coughs> sorry. And then async def, we're going to use on member update. So you're going to get your guild ID. And how you do that is you have to go to your user settings in Discord, appearance, scroll all the way down, developer mode right here. Go ahead and turn that on. So any server that you have admin permissions on, you can just right click, copy ID, and that's where you get this number right here. All right, so then we're going to do if before dot activity is equal to after dot activity, we're just going to return. So essentially, if they are streaming now and they were already streaming, but for some reason they called the on member update function anyway, we're just going to return and not do anything. All right, then we're going to get our role. So role equals get after dot guild dot roles. ID equals, and then I'll show you how to do that. You just right click on your server, server settings, roles, and I set up a streaming role. Right click on that, copy ID, and that's where you get this number right here. Same exact thing with your channel, and if I close out of here, you're just going to right click on your channel, copy ID. Pretty simple. All right, so async for message in channel.history. If before I mention in message.content, it is now streaming in message.content. So basically, you're going to check if it's already sent a message. So if there's already a message in your Twitch streams notification channel that they're live, you're not going to send another one. You're just going to return if they're already streaming. Because you don't want it spamming that channel. All right, then we're going to do if is instance after that activity is streaming. So if they weren't streaming already, and if there is not a message in your Twitch notifications channel, but they are streaming now, if you're gonna assign them the streamer role that we defined up here, then you're going to get the stream URL, which is after.activity.url. And then you're gonna get the streaming service. You just do some splicing for that. So that's pretty simple. And then you're gonna do await.channel, await.channel.send. And you just do whatever I did uh, live with a red circle, and it says before dot mention, so it's gonna tag the user. It's gonna say is now streaming on, and streaming service most cases Twitch, and it's gonna put the stream URL. And obviously, if you have a URL Discord, it's gonna put a little preview there for you that you can click on. And then L if before dot activity streaming. So if they were streaming, but they're not streaming anymore, you're going to remove their streaming role. Then you're going to check in your Twitch notifications channel. So for message in channel.history. If um, before that mention in channel.content, so you're going to check if they're tagged in a message and it says now streaming, and you're just going to delete that message. And then else return and you're gonna run your bot. So that's pretty, that's it. Uh, it's pretty simple. I, it took me a while to figure out and I saw no tutorials about it anywhere so I thought I'd make one. 
I'm going to put this link, which is the Stack Overflow post that I found the code from. I'm going to put this link for this file right here. And I'm also going to put a link to my Discord in the description. So if you guys need any more help, you can come and find me and I'll see what I can do. But uh, yeah, I hope this helped you out and have a good day.